Hello everybody and thank you for watching this and guess what? We're going to be creating a Cold Fusion content management system. That's right, our very own Cold Fusion CMS from scratch. Now this is something that I'm going to be releasing under a open license, you know, as long as you give, you know, proper um, documentation you'll be able to, you know, well, you know, you can create your own CMS, but, you know, if you contribute to this, it'd be great, you know, we can start building a community project, you know, if you make recommendations, you know, it's great, we'll put that in the code, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll try to build something great, because there's really not a good CMS for Cold Fusion, which really scares me, uh, I've talked to many developers who said they generally just build something from scratch for their people. Uh, and you know that's good. That's great. That's a good way to have you know proprietary software. But there should really be something that's equivalent to Joomla as for PHP towards the Cold Fusion space. And this is what we're going to be trying to do with uh, Core. So Core is going to be an open source, as I said, and it's going to start right here on YouTube. And this is something that I hope gains traction. Maybe gives you know cold fusion a little bit more respect or well, not respect but a little bit more you know gravity to allow it to be used or utilized by a lot more people okay so we're very starting out I've uh, came up with the concept now I have some of the program already started but I decided to go ahead and create a new and show you bit by bit what certain things are doing um, okay so if you are new to Cold Fusion and you know absolutely nothing, just note that this is a comment. To create a comment, you will just need to begin your comment with a less than exclamation three dashes. And then whatever you put after that is considered a comment. You can put code, snippets, or whatever. And just end its three dashes with a greater than sign. Okay, remember less than opens, greater than closes. Very good. And we just put some documentation because it's always good to document what you're doing, uh, the particular version, give it the purpose to the file, and give file history if you do make updates. Okay, once again, just more comments. Uh, we are actually going to be setting the application security access variable, and that's just basically so we can help deny direct access to certain points of the application, which you can read the comments, you can see exactly what that means. And the next thing that we do is we're going to import the application initial include. Once again, comments. That's great. That's why you have to have comments. And you'll notice that we do includes, and then we have a variable that we're calling. And if you don't know what a variable is, a variable is just something that holds uh, certain information that can be utilized at a later time. Uh, in this case, it's an application variable. So this application variable is going to be available to the whole application. Now, this is not setting the application variable here. It's just calling from the application.cfc file that I'll show you in just a second. After that, we include the inet.inc.cfm, which I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, actually, let's show you this now. Uh, this is the inet.inc.cfm file. It's very basic. I haven't added any code because I wanted to try to keep each video uh, between five to ten minutes hopefully okay so let's jump to the application.cfc file right now it's very very basic because as I said we're going to try to build this together so what we do is we just create a CF component which looks like that and a component is a .cfc file that is very similar to PHP class methods um, We'll see this is your class and this is your your method um, it's accessed and created a little bit differently but the way we did it we said see a function we named the function on request store now this is a very uh, key element to this because this is something that cold fusion will automatically run once the application is loaded so Cold Fusion automatically loads this once your application is requested. Now that's very good because there's a lot of things that you can do to this. This is where you can store uh, application settings such as your database that will always be available. Uh, just think of the application.cfc file as your configuration file. And we'll start to add more to that as we progress. 
Okay, so just let's go back and review. Uh, just comments. You know what a comment is now, hopefully. Uh, we set a variable, and this variable is request.security token, SEC token, short for security token. We set that equal to true. We may come back and do change that, but you know, true is good. That That's fine. And then we just import the application that shall include, which is here. And if we run this application now, which it does run, you'll see that it error while processing requests. Don't worry about that. That's just something that I was trying to test out a little bit earlier. And that is actually uh, valid now. So if we do V the source code, which I'll show you, which we get, this is the application initial include. And we got some white space, and we'll, we'll get in how to clean that up. But for now, let's not worry about that white space. I'm just worried that we do have some output for the code so we are on the right track alright guys so the next video we will be discussing uh, more about the initial include and then we'll start to uh, create the database for the application okay guys thank you and have a great day